Hello my people home and abroad, how are you doing? Trust you're having a good day. It's a boy again, Olabanjo, Isaiah. You know me as Nidu Mister. Long time no see. Um, it's quite a long time that we've last discussed on this channel. And um, believe me, all of this while that I was away, it was never deliberate. I was going through a lot. It was really a very rough time for me, but glory be to God, now I'm back and not just bigger, but also stronger. And we're gonna open this brand new year 2024 with color embellishment tutorial. Believe me, you're gonna enjoy the process. Because this tutorial is gonna be about designing an already made color, I will drop a link in the description box for you on how to seal color. Believe me, I don't like repeating tutorials except there is a new development. So that's why this tutorial doesn't comprise of the sewing of the color but i have a video existing already on the channel soldering iron and eyelet plier is all you need for this design and something strong to press this arrow like edge metal let's begin when fixing this i want you to make sure that you push the edge of the collar to its extreme end Make sure you push it to the extreme end before pressing it with something hard. Make sure you push it down like this. Let's look for something harder to press it. Uh, if you are joining this channel for the first time, I say a very big welcome to you again. On the Mr. Channel, believe me, you're gonna learn a lot as a sewer, as a pattern maker, even as a digital pattern maker. Yeah, we have a special class for that also. And we're gonna do more of pattern making this year by God grace on this channel because I got a lot in store to show you guys. So, with this done, I'm going to pick up my heated soldering iron and start creating space for my eyelet by piercing the color. Yeah, but it seems here the O is too small for the eyelet, so I'm going to increase its size. You shouldn't force it. I was trying to force it here, but I noticed the dent it's going to give to the color, so I stopped. I remove it and increase the size of the hole. So please do not force your eyelet into small hole. When the hole is too small, pick up your sodium iron again and increase its size. And here is the eyelet plier. With the eyelet plier, I'm going to press the eyelet. And um, I want you to know that there was no blueprint for this there was no reference yeah i was just piercing the holes the way my spirit directed so please there was no reference do not ask for reference do not bother about pattern okay for this there was none Also make sure you are pressing the eyelet very hard with this eyelet plier that it may spread well behind.
Now see what we have at both end of our collar. Isn't it beautiful? So let's add more details. Um, I pick up my tapering and measure the distance between the first two eyelets and it read 15 inches. So I started marking points at um, one inch interval because I want the eyelet to be equidistant. That is the distance in between them. I want it to be one inch. So I started marking point at one inch interval. So this is what we got. Um, but this area ain't looking busy enough for me. Yeah, I want there to be more eyelets that it may look more beautiful. So let's put more eyelets there. Remember, I told you there was no reference for this. There was no blueprint. So I was just doing it as uh, my spirit led. Please spare me a little of your time. So tell me in the comment section what you think about this idea do you like something like this should i keep on bringing more videos like this to you and also subscribe to this channel if you have one please hit the subscribe button subscription is free it's not going to cost you a dime please and um also like this video share help me reach more audience please help my ministry okay um this is the end result i believe you love this and as Regard sewing of color. Uh, check in the description box. You're gonna find a link there. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day.